Township Supreme. Friendship Supreme. Finding the geek within. Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Friendship, Friendship Supreme. Supreme. I'm Michael. This is Cleve. And we're the podcast that dares to ask, is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I'm not even sure where it is. Do you think that it's where life lands from? Mozambique, yeah. Ugh. That's my best accent so far. It is the best impression that you have. Not accent, but yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like identical. You know what's crazy? So, weird little tidbit. I don't know if... I think we've talked about it before, about the voice actor and how terrible it is. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, I went and researched a little bit more about her. She actually is um, half from somewhere in the Caribbean. I'm trying to remember what island it was, and I can't remember right now. But uh, So she actually does have some kind of heritage uh, banked in this, and still did it crappy. So, anyway, uh, we're here, back with another exciting episode of... Eh, why Snacks not? and Facts. Snacks and Facts. Snacks and Facts? Snacks and Facts! Snacks and Facts! Jesus, we did the whole thing. Snacks and Facts does sound way better. Yeah, we're renaming this whole... Yeah. Just this part, I guess. The and why not can still stay. Just, yeah. The you know, if you guys would stop suggesting just food, then. Yeah. By the way, we are working, uh, for the person that did it, suggest Indian food, we are currently working on a way to make this work. Um, so far, all the suggestions we've gotten on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram have been um, cooked foods. And we don't have someone that's going to cook food for us. So we're working on it. Uh, maybe we can, or maybe we'll have to order. So if someone knows of a really, like, authentic tasting place, let me know, and maybe I'll just place an order there. In the Dallas area. In the... Well, no, not really, Stephanie. We can oh, go yeah, somewhere we can else. fly somewhere. If you get somewhere... In the U.S., preferably, because we do have jobs that we have to get back to, if you have somewhere that uh, has the best uh, Indian food, let us know. Anyway, we're here, brought to you by the Caribbean today. Um, Caribbean. Or is it Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean, but I feel like it's Caribbean. I, I don't know. It hurts. Um, we have another uh, box from Snack Crate, and for some reason they're still not giving us money. The checks haven't cleared Snack Crate. Yeah, um, send it's it really kind of three a, more times. At three times the amount. Yeah. Concurred. I mean, really, at this point, all we're expecting is for you to throw in an ice pack in the ding box for free or something. I mean... What more can we give you? Right. But if you guys happen to like this box, you can find it there. Um, and uh, without further ado, uh, we do not have our our facts lady for the snacks and facts <gasps> today. Uh, my There's wife is unfortunately here. not here today, so Stephanie is filling in for facts. Uh, so don't expect great quality. We still need to have her mic on. Uh, she doesn't even have her mic on right now. You can still hear me. The Stephanie, mic, is right mic there. up. Can you clip it to your glasses? No. We're going to give Stephanie a brief technical uh, delay. She's micing up right now. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good, 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 good. Thank, thank you for being professional today, Stephanie. Hit me with a snack. It's, it's called, called catch. catch. I thought it was fitting for the first one. Salt caramel and crisp rice <laughs> in milk chocolate. In the Caribbean, they speak English, which is convenient for us. Well, some oh, of the... There's a side. There's also Danish. Barra de Camelo Suave con Arroz Inflado Cubierta de Chocolate con Leche and then it's said in another language after that. So, I want to say they also speak Spanish, apparently. <laughs> De, yeah. Uh, and like uh, I know some of the islands speak Danish, some speak French. I like those pastries. A Danish? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite center in the Danish? Not cheese. Yeah. No, the, cream, uh, the cheese isn't good enough. No. It has to be mixed with something. I like, like a, a raspberry with the cheese. I mean, it looks good. Looks like a poop. Always, man. Mm. 
So it's like a triangle, like a Toblerone, but not rocky. Oh, it's already melting on my hand. Hmm. Tastes like a crunch bar, but with caramel. It is as promised. Rice Krispies, some caramel in there, and a nice milk chocolate. Would you like some, Sunny? Ow. <laughs> Stephanie just fake ate it, but we did this weird thing where she <laughs> munched at Well, her. I just mean that if I eat it, it's just going to go. I feel like you did it last time, didn't you? I didn't have it on. Oh. Num. Num num. Ready for your fact. Always ready for facts, Stephanie. This is facts and snacks. We have the snacks. You got the facts. The Caribbean is the birthplace of James Bond. Mm. Author Ian Fleming wrote all 13 of the spy thrillers at GoldenEye, his home in Jamaica. So Ian Fleming has a home that he calls GoldenEye. <clears throat> That's the best fact out of that. Mm hmm. Okay. But, but what color is the house? <laughs> Solid gold, baby. Blue? That makes sense. <laughs> Still so just looked at us shrugged and said the first color that came to mind. There's like four houses up here, one of them's blue. That's very Caribbean. Okay, I'll look it up while you eat your next snack. I'll never miss a snack again. Cleve posted a video of me missing snacks. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> this one's called Chicken Chips. Chick and Chips. There we go. And, and it says Pollo y Papitas, which is potato. And they're ketchup flavor? Chicken and potato. Chicken and potato, sorry. Uh, so they're ketchup flavored, which apparently ketchup is salsa de tomate. Well, we learned uh, something. I don't... I'm so very confused. So is it chicken flavored chips with also ketchup chip flavoring? We've had ketchup chips before. Let's find out. Where did we have ketchup chips from before? Um, Finland? Finland. I think probably Finland. Or Poland? No. I don't think Poland. I don't so, know. Go I back mean, to the other episodes and figure it out. Oh. It's a pungent smell of vinegar. Mm, yeah, it's mm. not great. And they look like those veggie chips. Yeah, but, but like super thick. Let me yeah. get a real red one. Uh, yeah, so it looks like a veggie stick um, with red paint on it. Not good. Not as bad as I was expecting, but not great. Does so it taste like ketchup or chicken? Neither. I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't taste like either. Not a fan, though. It's very airy. I think one was good. Hmm? I think one was good. <laughs> Ian Fleming's uh, home is white. Not even cool colored. It doesn't even look that cool. Who named their house? You know... The, um, like if you let ketchup stay out too long and it hardens on the plate and you just really need ketchup so you use just a smidge of it and you shouldn't have, and that's what that tastes like. Oh, it wow. tastes like the ketchup that's dried out on the top. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like dried out. Oh but you made it some weird desperation move where ketchup had been laid out for weeks on a plate. No, not like weeks, like a day. Mm -hmm. It's not great. Live it up. It tastes like the veggie sticks dusted with vinegar. Okay. But like ketchup vinegar? Did you know that there's over 700 islands in the Caribbean? Mm. I thought facts. you were snacks and I was facts. <laughs> well, you were but, snacking, so I was facted. But where? <laughs> 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 I don't know how to tell you this. It's like in Can the you store those over there? Is it by I don't water? Want to yeah. It is. It's surrounded by water. They're islands. 
I went to school. <laughs> okay. Yeah, while you were snacking, I was factoring. That's how this works. Ugh. This is del Dulzura. Coconut and pineapple snack. It does not look great. What is yours? Same thing? Same thing. Mm -hmm. Ah, boquitos de coco not and piña. Hey, they are vegan and gluten-free with no GMO. You're not selling it. <laughs> that makes it sound like it's going to be worse. They I'd... are made in... No, they're manufactured in Puerto Rico, actually, so... I don't think... Is Puerto Rico considered the Caribbean? I guess mm, it, it's... a U.S. Is territory, not, so. The region is Caribbean still? Maybe. Wouldn't make sense. It's brightly... Oh, my God. This is not easy to open. What is it looks like funny? a cake. Oh, what are those things that they... The dessert and... Mexico. Like the cornmeal. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> you know, like the, it's like it's a, a palate cleanser, I believe, but it's like a little corn, like corn breadish. But um, corn is maize. Thank you, Moss. Maize. Also, for anyone who's just listening to audio, Cleve's face and actions that he just did are proof that you should watch the videos. It's just a little tiny nug of. I hate it. Coconut. But not very much coconut flavor. I hate it. It's not great. It's what you had to offer me, huh? As a, I'm gonna leave that the way we make sure Kitty gets some. Or Stephanie. That's 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 okay. I knew she wasn't gonna eat it. That's why I said that. That's not great. Mm -mm. That's not great at all. Mm mm. I'm looking up Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. You know, Puerto Rico is a Caribbean island. Mm -hmm. So, it is a Caribbean scent. So. Wait one second. What is that little corn? Dish. Cool. No. It's just Mexican corn cake. They put it on the plate of like all the little mixing in the Mexican restaurant you get to. Like that little, little, little tiny bowl of it. I don't know what it looks like, but anyway. Oh, that was terrible. Mm -hmm. That was rough. It wasn't sweet. It wasn't pineapple-y. I didn't get any pineapple out of it. Very little like raw, raw, raw coconut. Like not very... Wasn't a fan. I deserve a fact. Okay. I snacked. With a heat rating of more than 1.2 million Scoville units, the Maruga, M-O-R-U-G-A, Scorpion Chili Pepper mm. from Trinidad and Tobago, 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 Tomato. Tomato. Tomato is one of the hottest peppers in the world. Scorpion pepper. Speaking of hot, remember that one time we ate those hot wings? Why, man? They've never seen those uh, pictures I made. Tiki Gold Coconut Craze. Chocolatey coated wa wafer with a coconut cream filling. Do you not like coconut at no. all? No. Oh. I'm getting them all out of the way then. Cool. Sorry. No need to prolong We get it, man. This. Islands. You don't have to put coconut and <laughs> everything. Smells like coconut. A bunch of wafers stacked on top of each other. Doesn't taste much like it. Not to me. It's called Charles Tiki Gold Coconut Craze. Not terrible. Like wafers stacked on top of each other with a very barely coconutty flavor. You well, taste. For someone that doesn't like coconut, do you taste a lot of coconut in it? Mm -hmm. But first it was barely. No, oh, first it was doesn't taste like it, then it was like eh, barely. You lied. That's how we got my mom to get on the um, the uh, the attraction uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror. <laughs> oh, it's like it's kind of like the Indiana Jones ride. Oh, really? I'll get on that. And there was an elevator, and we dropped straight down. Little did we know that my mom's two greatest fears in the entire world are ele are, ele are being in close enclosed places and dropping. That's all that is. Yep. Why did you do that to your mom? That's, we didn't know. Did That's she get over her fears? No. Did it make it worse? 
she uh, dug her nails into my arm and screamed so loudly that my mom, my brother, then also cried. Hmm. Cool. Next time. <laughs> Residents of colonial Cuba could be punished for insulting a bird. Cuba. Is it a particular bird? The feathers of the Cuban tro- tro- trogon were seen as representing the red sash worn by Spanish kings. Hmm. So if they insulted a bird that, that looks one. like the Cuban kings, that then feels uh, fair. Spanish kings. You know who else loves birds? Hmm. Ghost dog. Someone touched this pigeon and he wasn't having it. And then the pigeon came, like, was gone for like days and then came back. That was the very end. Just not looking by before he passed away. You think they kept that pigeon, the little girl? Mm, or the ice cream man? I only hope. Where did it go? Where did the property, it like went to her. Where did it go now? It only has one place. Where are we at? Oval team! Shut the front door. Delicious. Stop. Okay, this is really Barley disappointing. Snack. Oh, okay. Never mind. What? So much better than what I read. I read cookies, delicious, barely a snack. <laughs> it's barley. Thank you, Cleve. They're called Old Team Cookies. This is why he's not on the show by himself. Is this moment. They're a product of Jamaica. Thank you, Jamaica. Mom broke. They just look like gingerbread. Are they just like those? Those just look like children's cookies, like animal cracker cookies. Yep. Like something you'd feed to your two-year-old who needs a snack. They're good, but nothing special. No, nothing special. We also could have probably just opened one of those. Yeah, probably. Whatever, you just get one. They're average. Very they're, average. They're exactly as they look. I'm sure Jameson will love them. Pretty much an animal cracker. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saba is home to the shortest airport runway in the world. At 1,312 feet, it's 22% of the length of the of an average runway. Happy landings. Mr. Lover. Shaba. <laughs> it's, um, I used to, I went to the island, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Why am I having, Honduras. That's where you can, like, be on the beach and see a plane fly over you that feels like you could touch it. Didn't they recently, like, outlaw people doing that? Because someone touching died. Planes? No, not touching planes, but, like, being on that beach when they're landing. I thought they had, like, blocked it off so that people couldn't do it anymore. I don't know. I stayed on that beach, though. Because someone, someone died. Someone got hit by the plane. It's not exactly. accurate. <laughs> or got sucked into the engine or something weird. That feels not accurate. Anyway, they died. Right. Or I think they got uh, whiplash this, because of the. The story fear. is violently <laughs> changing. Or someone got hit by a plane, someone got sucked into the engine, someone just got whiplash from the, the flyby. I'll figure it out. Bigfoot, spicy, picante. Ooh, picante. A giant sized cheese snack. And a snack de queso de la. Gigante. This is from Trinidad and Tobago. So we're getting a little bit of everything. Are those, um, those hats? Yeah. This one specifically was from Trinidad and Tobago. It's bad. Snacks and facts, facts and snacks, we're here with you. Ooh. Take a look at that. Gigante. Oh, man. Uh, they are bigger than I thought they were going to be. Those are like those Cheeto Pals. Mm-hmm. I'm not excited about this. I don't like the flavor of a hot Cheetos, and that's what this feels like. It's going to be. They just look like giant feet, by the way, for people at home. Uh, for you that looking, you can see that they Crusted look like... chicken feet. Uh, and they are dusted in red. Mm, they're all hot. They don't taste like hot Cheetos, though. I'm not sure what they taste like. I still definitely get the cheese. But, man, they're hot. Woo! They are hot. 
<coughs> you know what mm -hmm. They're good though. They are good. Really good. Whew, but they are hot. I'll take that review. There was a woman thrown into the air by the from the blast of the jet engine and hit her head. That sounds fun. It is. Woo. Really? Yeah. Throw one. It just burns the tongue. Like, it's uh, hotter than I was expecting it to mm -hmm. be. I think they're hotter than Hot Cheetos. Oh, uh, there's, there's a different kick it gives you. It just is lingering. Mm hmm It's weird because, like, Hot Cheeto puffs. I mean, they make those. No, this tastes different to me. I... I can still taste the cheese through the heat. Yeah. There's still flavor. It's not just hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Feeling that kick? I don't know. Well, oh, there's there was some that was on my tooth and then it got in the mouth. Yeah, if it, if it, uh, if it lingers on there. I'm also drinking the water because I want to be able to taste the next thing. <laughs> And then not just be distorted by this hot snack. I ate a snack. I get a fact. Snacks, facts. Snacks, facts. Facts and snacks. Facts and facts and facts and facts. And facts, and facts. Powerfully picante was the, the Bigfoot one. Did you know that anyway. the population of the Caribbean is 43,601,839 people? Stephanie's, Stephanie's overpowered by Bigfoot. You need water now? I saved that cough so that you can cut it out. Because <laughs> the spice on the back of my tongue uh, is like pepper. It's like pepper in my throat. Mm -hmm. It was good though. Mm -hmm. I like that. I can see myself. So far, a I could see there. myself buying a, that, another one of those. Everything else? Yeah. Okay. Next one. Noogle. I almost said nougat, but it's noogle. Noogle. Noogle or nuggle. Noogle. This is made from the Trinidad again. Trinidad's making a lot of chocolates. Lots of peanuts, chewy fudge, creamy caramel, and milk chocolate. And what's the rest say? Quantite de achiralos. Avec la fondante et caramel cremeuse, napes, de chocolate au latte. I like that your accent gives up on caramel. 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 And, uh, Looks like a payday. A big old turd in the in the pool. Caddyshack. Those chicken chips were supposed to be drumstick shaped. <laughs> there are some drum stick ship drum stick shaped ones in there. Oh, okay. So it wasn't just the sticks. Yeah, I noticed on the outside of the but I didn't see any in there, but they're supposed to be. Tapeta. You heard it here, guys. Well no. no. Peta doesn't have chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it tastes what, like what it is. Nothing okay. special. Nothing crazy. A lot of nuts. That's a lot of nuts! One of the only scenes I remember from Kung Pao. Like, just religiously. Okay, your next fact. Dominica is home to the largest boiling lake in the world, with temperatures raising from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't recommend stopping by for a swim. Are there any living fish in it? Cooked fish. Mm. I'm going to assume not, but I would have to go look that I would just take up. my eggs up there. Mm. Poach them? Yep. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of eggs. eggs. Oh, do a, do a nice little um, uh, pasta bake. Mm -hmm. mm. bake. It would be great. You'd never have to use any electricity at all. No. Oh, Stop it. Yeah. Done. Okay. Sticky. Mm -hmm. 
still technically caught it. <laughs> like this. But it happened. St. Mary's Banana Chips! The original. From the fridge from the farm to you. I mean, they're just banana chips. Can you do a Mozambique voice for that? Fresh from the farm to you? No. Please? Lifeline, lifeline. It's from Jamaica, Kingston. Kingston, Jamaica. Ha. Adam's my yard now, boy. <laughs> You're the equivalent of the Lifeline voice actor doing it. Huh? You're the equivalent of the Lifeline voice actor doing it. Wagwan. Fresh the fan to you. I mean, I'm assuming they're just banana chips. Oh, it looks like they're thinner though. Yeah, they're really way thin. Like thin. That. I'm surprised it's not plain tang almost. That's true. So much better than banana chips. Yeah. Is it because they're lighter? Like not, it's just different. They're not sweet at all. Like it's, the banana it's chips here like are usually a, sweeter. It's like a genu genuine chip, just yeah. using banana. As opposed to what I think of a banana chip just being a dehydrated banana. Yeah, they're like salted potato chips. Oh, they're really good. They have different flavors. Nice little light, light snack. Cassava chips, plantain, ripe plantain, grapefruit, banana chips, and extreme extra crunchy. Hmm. What? Nah, I'm good. St. Mary's since 1929. That messed me up a little bit because I was expecting sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, we have banana chips, but they're like... That's funny because it says, dry banana makes for a perfectly sweet chip. Not at all. No sugar in that whatsoever. In fact... It's weird. It, it tastes One like gram of sugar. Almost. That's weird. Because fruit just naturally has sugar. Try one. I don't know how to describe it other than trying it. Not what you would expect a banana chip to taste like at all. Mm -mm. But it weirdly works for me. I would say maybe it's sweet there, but then I ate a chocolate payday, so... <laughs> they know what sweet is, right? That's weird. That's not sweet at all. The knuckle was sweet. Snuggle with a nuggle. My nuggle snuggles. Coco Crisp. I have the inner. I have to like switch between the candy bars. There's just too many of them. That are all the same. Yeah, they they're literally all the same. Also from the West Indies, made by Charles Chocolates. It is called Coco Crisp. Did Does you, his family own the chocolate company? When he was a kid, he used to go by the name Charlie, but we we'll changed that. This is also the last candy bar that you have to eat. He's grown. So. Cool. Is it because of the losses? Oh, God. Why do they all look like poop? Why do you open it so far? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of coconut in there, man. I'm sorry. I get it, guys. <laughs> Oh, that smells it. Is that just coconut filling? Mm -hmm. No one very much tastes like coconut. I don't know how else to describe it. What can almond joy? I would describe it as tender coconut flavor combined with light crisp riced drenched in milk chocolate. The perfect dessert. How many more snacks we got? That was, you know what, honestly? That Bring was a drink. the less crappy one of the, all the coconuts so far. I think it was a good quality bar in general. How much more coconut we got? Mm. Is it a drink coconut? Because then I'll just drown in it. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it is. If it is, it's got a weird picture for coconut. It's a trick. It's a mystery box you're not supposed to tell me. <laughs> is it not just red stripe? Isn't that what they all drink for all, all time? Oh, that felt light and very sweet. Oh my god. This looks like some candy in Japan. It's called Superstar Ballers. That's us. 
I don't even need the information. Put one of them It's called corn. It's corn grits. Mm, <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> now you unsold me on this. I'm trying to see where it's from. Product of Jamaica. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna open this and it's like a stripper situation. We're never gonna not see the this. glitters everywhere. Yeah. Well, they're just giant cocoa puffs or candy puffs. Uh, pebble, fruity pebbles. Oh, the God. premium box would have had a spice bun in it. Let's talk about how cheap we are. These are good. Not bad. Not sweet enough, but. Oh. That's like. I feel like I'm put that in bowls. I feel like they're just the right amount of sweet. I feel like they're like a cereal, but yeah, tricks. bigger and puffier. Mm hmm. And meltier. So like They're if you strawberry ballers. If you were to put milk in those, they would get soggy pretty quickly. That's what milk does. It sogs it up. Any liquid. Yeah. It might even disappear. Mm. Okay. Did you know that the Caribbean is Sorry, dead. forgot about the facts. The Caribbean is dead. <laughs> the Caribbean uh, is one million sixty three thousand square miles. Um, this is called chocolate digestive <laughs> premium. Mm -hmm. This is insure. It is by Devon. That's how I'm gonna say it. Uh, chocolate covered wheat meal biscuit. That sounds awful. Galette de trigo integral. The cubierta de chocolate biscuit de firme complete fior on chocolate. You're welcome, everybody. None of that sounds good. No, that's all that's that's all that's all. That's Where's it from? Trinidad and uh, Tobago. Mm -hmm. Tobago. Maybe the more we the way we should start doing these is the more we eat it, the more the accent should be thicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wah, wah. <laughs> I got this one. Chocolate biscuits. I don't even know how to break this. I, I'm trying to get stuff on my hands, so can we not do that? Thank you. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's funny how many snacks are just like laid out here, scattered, and you can't see any of them. That's what we're hoping for. I mean, not as bad as I was expecting. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be bad. I'm trying I to think. Get Girl Scout cookie. Yeah, yeah. Girl Scout cookie for sure. Maybe a uh, uh, Twix with no caramel. Twix with no caramel. That's a really good call. What's a Twix with no caramel, guys? It's a crunchy wheat meal biscuit dipped in a delicious chocolate coating. I, I would, said that in three languages. I would say. Oh. That, I, would, <laughs> I would say probably the left stick. Of Twix? Mm -hmm, for sure. Okay. Definitely lefty. Uh, Anybody, any right, right Twix, mm -hmm. you tell us down below why the right. I need to know. I prefer the right. I don't like the right ones because it's the hand I wet my butt with. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going places. Um... I'm looking for a fact on here. I ran out of these facts. I've given you so many facts. The, well, there's only so many fun facts and so many snacks. <laughs> I can tell you the Caribbean is a group of 30 territories whose borders touch the Caribbean Sea. Made up of over 700 islands and surrounding coastal regions, the Caribbean is located to the southeast of the North American Hold mainland. On, just stop. <laughs> Did you guys know that the Caribbean is the home to Captain Jack Sparrow? There's a hit song about that. Yeah. Mystical voyage to the island of Tortuga. Ginger biscuit. That sounds like it's going to be what it's promised to be. Best before June twenty six twenty. Oh. Let's hope that those. Let's hope this is one of those date switcheroos next year. No. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> For a moment, I was scared. It's next year. Contains. Wait. <laughs> I am not joking. I am a wheat biscuit and it contains wheat. <laughs> There's no it Contains wheat. wheat. Where's it from? Um, it is from the great place of 
Big Bud Company in uh, Kingston, Kingston Jamaica. Jamaica. Kingston. Hey man, don't ever read ahead of me. Sorry. <laughs> we just. I like to be a snacky packy too. Is the fact of where it's from the fact? This isn't your average cookie. Take Ooh. a bite out of this delectable, Ooh. crunchy, and ever so spicy biscuit. It's got a good smell to it. I'm excited. Oh, it's very gingery. Mm -hmm. I mean, the smell is. You know how you don't you feel about coconut? Mm -hmm. I feel that way about ginger. <laughs> I like ginger. It's not terrible. Mm -mm. Mm. It's very much perfect for a um, like a gingerbread snack of some sort. I like the spice mm. to it. It's not a sweeter side. Yeah, Katie every year makes this like. It's like a cream cheese key lime kind of dip. Mm -hmm. And we use usually like ginger, like crack, graham cracker or ginger snaps or whatever. For them, and that would be perfect for that. It's mm -hmm. like a good sweet ginger snap. Ginger slap. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't terrible. I like I said, I don't really care for ginger, but you don't like coconut. We've gone through four coconut bars, so I can handle it. Uh -huh. I was like, I don't like fish, and yet I ate a dead one on here. For you people. Typically, they're all dead. Fish? No. Oh, not necessarily. Seventy is trying so hard to. Is it this it? Yeah. His last one. I won't throw the can at I you. you. Ding. <laughs> Ding. Everything. This is this the fruit fizz? It's a real grapefruit juice in every sip. I'm not a fan Ding. of grape, grapefruit either. A drop of Caribbean sunshine. Ding is the ultimate thirst quencher. Slightly carbonated. Natural citrus refreshment. Made between the cream. I thought it was there. Do you own a shop? <laughs> is your city is your city saved by Batman? Batman! <laughs> hey man! <laughs> it's a Batman. Widely recycled. 330 milliliters. You're making me miss my dead parents. <laughs> you no, know, I was watching Futurama the other day. Barbados Slim. What a great character. <laughs> My bad, old Slim. Uh, so it's just a zesty fruit fizz. It's called Ding, because everything is going to be alright. Ding! Where's your, your. I need your Jamaican accent. I did it. No. A couple of times. Who knew you I did all the Spanish stuff, man. I mean, I read Spanish too, but. That's... Yeah, but it sounded like, like white Spanish. <laughs> I could put his whole mustache in it. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> so bad. I don't like grapefruit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you don't like grapefruit, it's and literally it's, grapefruit. It is just all grapefruit. Straight up grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Very much so. It's actually pretty good. It's refreshing. So, yeah, 7 up, but grapefruit. Um, I like sparkling not, citrus, grapefruit. citrus drink with a I splash of grapefruit. Or grapefruit. But it's I know, but it's not seven up. Alright, so if you had to say out of all of these things uh, out of all of these things, uh, what was your favorite? Sugar nuts and hot chips. Sugar nuts and hot chips. <laughs> you mean the strawberry ballers? Yeah. And the Bigfoot chips? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bigfoot chips would be my favorite thing. Um, the rest of them were okay. Everything else was like pretty as, much what I would as say. advertised. Average ish. I actually really like that. Yeah, well, the drink? Chug it. Oh. Corn swaggled. Move a spit over. Some of it got in the can too, so. Yeah. yeah. We shared energy drinks together. We're basically kindred spirits now, so. Just, just I mean, it's just. It. It's. Grapefruit. Yeah. It's grapefruit. 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 Okay, so, uh, so yeah, uh, the hot chips I think is our winner for this uh, box. Uh, least favorite? All the coconuts. <laughs> I think my least favorite would have been the coconut. Uh, the pineapple coconut. The one? coconut pineapple. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Garbage. Um, it was oh, also God, so the other coconut, and then the Dul other coconut. Dulzura. Coconut pineapple snack. I'll Vegan eat more. Delivery. I'll eat more ketchup what about slash the chicken. Ketchup? Yeah. Um, Those were awful too. Let's not forget how awful those were. Yeah. I want. Well, I want to see one that. Banana has a chips. Stick. Banana chips would have been the second uh, favorite. I think I actually really liked them. Coconuts. When I touched all of them, just one. Oh. Night. Okay. 
No, I have to eat it. Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> eat it. Mm. Mm. It was just thrown away. Yep, so if you enjoyed what you saw here or want to try any of these things, um, feel free to come on over to my house because we have some leftovers. Or you can go to snackcrate.com, I guess. Yeah. It's probably easier. Well, I don't easier? Know. Or. What about a neighbor next door? That's right. You don't know. My neighbor could be watching. Do your neighbors? Hey. Hello, <laughs> na hello, neighbor. Like the game. Oh, I, in fact, you know what? The guy that. Uh, Help me install all my internet stuff. He he uh he watches us, so you know, you don't know. What's up, man? What's up? His name was also Mike. Ooh, awkward. You're now Danny. <laughs> uh but anyways, uh hopefully you guys liked what you saw today. If you are listening to us on the podcast, variety apps, all the all the podcast things like iTunes and such, um Please check us out on YouTube because we're a lot more attractive on YouTube than on our voices. Like if you saw me doing, <laughs> hold on, if you saw me doing my Jamaican accent, you'd be like, "Oh, that is on point." They'd be like, "Oh man, they must have brought a Jamaican guy in to, yeah, to read those lines." Exactly. About the food. About food. There's a Jamaican guy doing an impression of Michael on a recent episode. It's weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, you can also reach out to us if you have any suggestions for anything you want us to do or any places you want us to try on Snacks and Facts. Snacks and Facts! Snacks. Also, if you would like if you'd like to suggest things for and why not, since we still have not gotten anything on that, then if we've changed to Snacks and Facts, uh, we're willing to do anything, uh, except for anything Stephanie suggests. So, I mean, borderline legal. But yes, if you have any suggestions for us, reach out to us on our social media as we have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We have a Gmail account. We do. also have Patreon. All of those are Friendship Supreme. Or for email, it's friendship.supreme. And for Twitter, it's Friendship Supreme with no eyes. Because all eyes should be on these guys. And that gal sometimes. Uh, I've been Michael. This is Cleve. And remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. No, that's that's Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and we're canceled. <laughs>